how am I getting these back to the States? Does anybody know how to get feathers back to LA? Oh, mind you. They're almost as tall as me. Help. My friend Teresa just texted me. Um, she's the one I went to carnival with, and she said, I forgot to ask you if your carnival costume made it back to the US in one piece. Teresa, it's back, baby. It's back. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about it. Um, carnival. I, I wanted to go big. It, it just is a vibe, honestly. It's like you get the attention that you want and um, it set off the whole costume with the pink hair, the crown and everything. Like, could you imagine all that and then like baby feathers? Imagine. When I say carnival queen, it's not that anybody has crowned me the carnival queen, but like, look at me, a whole queen. Um, but it's because the feathers and I had like the top of the frontline costume. So technically I would be considered the carnival queen, but like nobody deemed me her. Um, you're the one that stands out the most and you have the most beautiful costume and all that. So like the kids want to come and take pictures with you and the adults love to wave and like you just get so much attention. And you don't seem like the carnival queen. There are no like roles by each person. Are there jesters? There was this one dude who just like kept following me around. Like he could have been the carnival jester. Like he was a joke, but I was nobody's carnival queen. So what comes with your purchase of a carnival costume? You get the whole shindy, you get the whole deal. You get breakfast and lunch. You get free rum on the road. You get a shot in a little bottle too. You get water. Um, you get the vibe, you get music, you get hotties trying to have a wine, okay? <laughs> oh, and you get security to sort of like secure you so that you're separated from the, the spectators and other bands. And it, they, they're just there to really make sure that you are safe um, and having a good time and a safe time. It comes with the, the whole thing. Where <laughs> you got this, I got faith in you. Wait, there we go. Show me your best wine. Wait. <laughs> yeah. And you can you'll strap it on as well. So you do have um where is it? So you got these to tie. Oh yes, thank God. Oh my goodness. Wait. 
And I think it was me that helped make the your costume actually. Mine? Yeah. Oh, you blessed it with your. Oh yeah. yeah. Thank you so much. Julia. You're welcome. But um, there's two hooks in the front that are like a harness, and they have strings on them, and you tie them back. You can like wrap them around your waist. You can tie them real tight around your arms and tie them just so it doesn't move. But mine wasn't tied very tight. So it kept like toppling a little bit. So I had to like grab it for most of the day to just like secure it. It was really a tie. to like untie all that just to take it off to take off my monokini to go to the bathroom or to do something or go get a drink or to go get lunch or to go have a wine or to go frolic and be free or to just you know go to a vendor to go get a snack to go get some sun to i don't know <laughs> it was just hard to go do anything to go scratch my butt it was hard it was hard being a carnival queen <laughs> but i don't regret it I shipped my feathers because it meant something to me and I wanted to see what it was like to actually ship it back if you wanted to keep a memento from Carnival. So I talked to T about this because we went to Propover and then she went to Martinique and some other places and she just like the feathers didn't make it. <laughs> R.I.P. those feathers. They didn't make it. But these I wanted to keep and so she said she wouldn't keep it. Um, but if she went to Rio, she would definitely try to get her feathers back on. So I went to the nearest place in Notting Hill, like boxes, etc., whatever it was, and had them box it and etc. and ship it back here. It cost about 450 US dollars to ship my feathers back to Los Angeles. How much does it cost? Let's try to fit it in a box. Let's find a box that fits it and all this and then price it for me. So. Okay, trying to ship it back. We'll see some of the feathers are already broken, but we'll just have to bend them in the box. And in this way. Might have to charge this one to the game because of these, these things right here. They're making it a lot wider because we can bend the feathers and bend these, but this one is a little we even bent these pliers. I shipped them back and they, they're looking pretty good. To be fair, this was like that the day after carnival. Like after walking back from the carnival route when it like ended to T's apartment was a nightmare. It was pretty bad. Um, and so going through the crowd just destroyed this side of my costume because I was like going through the crowd like this like I couldn't go forward like nobody's moving out the way for the carnival queen at that point so um basically I just took one side and like did it and so I tried to preserve this side of the costume um and stuffed it in a box and it made it back it came it got here before I did because I spent like another four days in London then went to Paris after that so it was waiting for me <laughs> So yes, there were at least four to five other women who had the big top line feathers. I was not the only one. Oh, an auntie had it, but she was lucky because they let her put her feathers on the truck for most of the day. And then when we went across the stage and did the judging, then she put her feathers on. And I was like, where was that when I was struggling all day with these feathers and couldn't go to the bathroom? I even asked them and they were like, no, you can't do that. Um, so some man had to like put a flag up so I could go to the bathroom in a corner and a park. Children play in that park. And so depending on what type of costume you get, if you get a front line, big feathers, 
bear costume, then you're gonna be spending some money. It is very expensive. If you get sort of one of the back lines, you can get away with maybe spending three, 250 to the 300 euro or dollars or whatever. So the front line and the range. The well, we don't line. need to talk about the range or the front line, okay? <laughs> we, don't to, we don't need to talk about I mean, give all it a of honey, a thousand with the people. Give it a thousand with the people. Oh, a, thousand, a whole thousand. So yes, so so yeah, you can be paying, you can be keeping it a thousand with the people, or two fifty to three hundred, depending on if you're in the front line or the back line. <laughs> I would highly recommend going to Carnival. I will definitely be going to Notting Hill Carnival again and again and again. This was a very very welcoming and friendly band. You didn't have one person giving you a side eye, giving you attitude, anything like that. Um, I felt completely comfortable and safe. The guys were respectful. If I didn't want to dance with them, I would just use my feathers as an excuse to like not get close to them, which was good. That was the benefit. Psh, you're not cute. <laughs> I wasn't saying that to people. Well, we were just out there having a good time and it's like post pandemic. So, you know, everybody wants to be safe. So there were some people with masks on and there were some people just like free facing, like me. Um, but I bought a mask because I wasn't sure if I wanted to wear one or not. Um, it was like a decorated designed mask and it was beautiful and I wore it on my stomach to cover something else. I'm no expert. This was my second carnival. I had a good time. It was really, really fun. I felt beautiful. I felt like a star. I did feel like a carnival queen. As the day went on, it got more rowdy. Like, more people were drinking, more people were drunk. The spectators thought they were a part of the actual carnival and the parade, and they were crossing lines. I feel like security wasn't that tight. Other bands uh, complimented their security about like keeping other people out, and I just noticed that there were so many randoms. It's like, you don't even have a costume on, you don't have a wristband, you don't have nothing. Uh, you might have COVID, why don't you get out of here? How about that? Um, and then there was just really aggressive guy who was just constantly dancing with people and like being pushy. And so that was one thing that made me a little nervous about, about having the big feathers because people would walk past me and it would just like make me lose my balance a little bit. And um, luckily I had a couple of guys who really just like looked after me. I really appreciate them. They would like check on me. Are you okay? Do you need this? Do you need that? Do you want me to hold your feathers? Like, like people were so kind. I had friends who offered to hold them too. And um, a part of me didn't want to give them up because like the back of the bikini was a little close to a thong. It wasn't a thong, but it was close enough. And I was like, I want to protect my bum. So, <laughs> so I liked having the feathers with the like little cape to cover me up. So so I didn't give up my feathers. Otherwise, if I had had like full coverage down here, I'd have been like, take them, take them and enjoy and bring them back when you're ready. <laughs> um, I had a good time. I, I literally have no regrets. Feel free to like and subscribe. Feel free to check out my Instagram, Britt Thompson Music, and um, you know, come back for more of me at Carnival and me in London. You can check out my stuff from Cropover in Barbados. That was a fun carnival. I was like post breakup, so you know your girl was out there in these streets. Ooh, I was in those streets in the ocean. I was in the sea bar. I tell you, I was, I was out there. Um, but it was a good time, and it was a short time. So. Whatever. Have fun. Enjoy.